Hi and welcome to 21st Pittsburgh. Today we are going to talk about the Steelers Washington game that was a total fiasco for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Washington didn't have to do that much to win the game so the loss feels extra bad. It would have been another history if Washington was you know had played good but that was not the case yesterday. If you want to support us and the Steelers and Penguins community, please like and subscribe. Game started in classic Washington and Steelers way for this season, with a few bad drives. Both teams had this going for them all season with just bad starts to the game. But the struggle is real now for Steelers. Play calling is so predictable that we have people average fans calling out the plays on Twitter before they happen. Imagine what the open opponents, coaches and players that study Steelers know. They have 10 times the knowledge about football. What can they see that we cannot see? And how predictable isn't this gameplay for them? Steelers are just too predictable and when they go outside that box they do it extremely predictable or just plain up straight stupid. Greg Williams, the former Jets uh, defensive coordinator, would be, have been proud of the offensive calling. Greg by the way got fired by New York Jets for his blitz call that many say is the most stupid play call of all time. What they must mean is the most stupid play call on defense of all time. Because I bet the most stupid play calling of all time is on offense in Pittsburgh at the moment. If Pittsburgh were a weak team that was fighting for that last playoff spot I would have no problem with Mike and Random Randy playing in an extremely narrow game in the play calling. You know, just to win that specific game that they absolutely need and just go into the Pittsburgh's specific strength in just one game. But that is not the case. Pittsburgh have so many weapons that still haven't been used this season. Like Derek Watt. Sure, he has been injured, but when he has played, he still hasn't been utilized. So what was the point to even bring him on the team? The Steelers should just release him at this point if they are not going to use him and bring in someone that might be able to assist in the active game plan. And by the way, I think they should utilize him. I don't think they should cut him. They should start using him to assist and help that struggling running game. Game plan by the way. What was the game plan? Did they even have a game plan? Or was the game plan that we are going to struggle and then in the end hope that Ben will save us? by taking over the play calling and going no huddle. It's just atrocious at this point. The throws to Anthony McFarland and Gerald Hawkins is just a big question mark at this point. Or the running slash slant call on third and long. I, I know it's a pass, but it's a pass of like one, one yard to Benny Snell. And then Schnell is supposed to run it all the way. Is that the plan? It might it might be the plan actually, because we are doing it every time this season. It never works. Never. Best players in the Steelers were Hilton, Jordan Berry, James Washington, Jalen Samuels, and Ben, I suppose. Splane and Hayden had good games before they had to leave and Avery Williams was good a few times but struggled sometimes as well so I don't know. I am not even going to talk about all the players that were struggling because then we will be here all day and I will get a heart attack at the end of it. Also I feel like 
it's not the player's fault. I, I, that's the genuine feel I got. It's not the player's fault. Also, these commentators, I mean, they, oh, I was so angry. Ray Ray McDonald, McDonald, really, McDonald, and J.D. Hassenhauer, J.D., and that was, that was just the top of the iceberg, to be fair, with these commentators. What the hell was going on there, to be fair? This reminds me of when Charlotte Batch, I think it was last year or the year before that, when he called Aaron Rodgers Brett Favre for an entire game. Anyway, the Steelers have a lot of work to do. The fact that they drop passes is, in my opinion, a new phenomenon. Sure, their wide receivers are young, but we know that these things mainly is in their head. And that is actually what is worrying me. This is to me a hundred percent Mike Tomlin thing. He should be on top of this day and night at the moment. Because the wide receivers is not feeling confident in their own performance. That is why they all are doing it at the moment. Just watch Benny Snell and Samuels. They are not wide receivers. They don't have a problem by, you know, to catch, catch the football. It is 100% in their heads. And it's 100% down to the coaches to help them solve this. This have nothing to do with their uh, skill in catching the football. It's 100% in their heads. And it's a problem throughout the entire wide receiver group and tight ends to some extent you know to some extent also i know people are going to get mad now but i don't give a shit throw in jaleon samuels as a tight end a few times in every game he is a disruption to the opponents and steelers need that diversification is something steelers really really need to work on but it all once again it comes down to the offensive coordinator and the stupid play calling by the way why is anthony mcfarland even on the field on that play uh, i mean steel has got like 15 guys on the roster that are better with their hands and yes ben might have seen the mismatch in the coverage but, if that is even an option to go to McFarland in that situation, why is he even on the field? Why not throw anyone else on there that can adjust to that not perfect pass and can jump? Why not former tight end Jalen Samuels if you absolutely need someone that is listed as a running back? What feels the most right now is that Washington didn't even play good. If we would have lost to a good team that actually outplayed us, we could have seen here and said, well, to do better against a better opponent and uh, towards the playoff, we really need to improve these and these and these and these certain areas to move forward. But now we have lost to a really bad team that give us just a notification that we need to wake up and solve a lot of goddamn things that should already have been solved. Like bringing in confidence into the wide receiver group so they don't drop the football all the time. Diverse the play calling. Have an actual game plan. This is also uh, a point I would like to make about James Washington. As we have been talking about earlier this season, most of the time when the media and journalists have been talking about our young and prosperous wide receiver group, they have often left out Washington. And I feel maybe that is the only factor that makes him the best of them right now. He does not have the same pressure mentally on his shoulders. We will be talking a lot more about this game during the week and the aftermath of it and how 
that will come into play for the Steelers. That is all for now. I will follow up on the injuries in separate posts, on Mason Rudolph's comeback, and that we should fire random Randy. Thank you for watching 21st Pittsburgh. Don't forget to like, subscribe, bell button all. Like, subscribe, bell button all to don't miss out of any of our videos. See you later. Thank you so much for listening.